now Nessus Essentials is installed, and we're ready to start a scan. Or are we? We don't really have a scan target yet, and what I would like is a target that definitely has some vulnerabilities so that we can see what the vulnerabilities look like. Fortunately, there are a number of projects that have created uh, vulnerable web applications specifically for training purposes and as scan targets. And so we're going to use one of those. We're going to use an app called Mutiliday. And I am just going to run that via Docker. So you can do this as well. I, I did, uh, I had to install and enable Docker on Kali Linux before doing this, but assuming you have uh, Docker installed and, ena and enabled, you could use the same command here, sudo docker run. I have it set up with the dash dash rm flag uh, so that it automatically removes the container when I'm done. Dash it, dash p, I'm gonna map port 80 on the host to port 80 in the container. And then it's citizen stig slash no wasp. So I'm gonna run that. It'll run some initialization steps here, set up MySQL, and starting Apache. And that looks good. It should be ready. So I'm going to open up, up another tab and load localhost. When you first start Mutiliday, uh, you need to set up or reset the database. So you can just click this link here to do that. So this is something that we need to do before we can use this as a scan target. This looks fine. It says no PHP or MySQL errors were detected when resetting the database. I'll click OK. And now Mutiliday is running. Uh, Mutiliday is the name of a species of ant that is red and has sort of a fuzzy, velvety texture. Uh, so that's why it's called Mutiliday, I guess. Uh, you know, if you, if, you, if you build the project, you get to name it, and that's what the, the creator picked. So just in case you were wondering why there's a red ant there and why it's called Mutiliday, those are connected. All right, so we have our scan target ready to go. Let's go back to Nessus Essentials. This screen here is just, uh, it, it recognizes that we don't have any scans configured yet, and it's prompting us to enter some IP addresses or a host name so that it can do a discovery scan. We don't need to do that, so I'm just going to click Close. I can create a new scan here or using the New Scan button here. Now there are a number of different scan templates, but the one that we're looking for is web application tests. And it says scan for published and unknown web vulnerabilities. Now I'm going to, going to sort of argue a little bit with that. Um, I'm not sure exactly what they were trying to say here, but obviously any scanner like this can only scan for vulnerabilities that it already has some awareness of. So we know that there are certain attack vectors for uh, SQL injection attacks. We know that there are certain attack vectors for cross-site scripting attacks. It's going to try those, but it doesn't know anything about novel attack vectors. So that, that's just something I wanted to point out there. I'll give the scan a name. I'll call it Mutiliday. test. Uh, I'll leave the description blank and the folder at the default, and I can just type localhost in here for the target. You could type a list of targets, you could upload a file of targets, um, but for just scanning a, a single, single host or application, this should be fine. And there are a number of options here. You know, I could schedule this. Uh, I could set up a reoccurring scan. I could set up notifications so that the scan results are emailed to somebody when it's done. Uh, but I'm going to leave all those. I'm just going to run an ad hoc scan. The one thing I will point out here is in the assessment section. 
here we can change the scan type. So it defaults to scan for all web vulnerabilities quick. And one thing I should point out about that, it does have a description of what that means down below. Uh, but I should point out that scan for known web vulnerabilities is actually faster than scan for all web vulnerabilities quick. So if you really just want a fast scan, this one's the fastest. Um, but this is, a, this is a good scan to use for now. The other thing I should point out here is you'll see it says start crawling from slash. That may not be where your application is. So if you want to scan a specific application, you can select custom. There are a lot of options that you can change here, but you could change where it starts crawling from. So that, that may be important for your scan scenarios. I'm gonna change this, so I'm gonna set this back to scan for all web vulnerabilities quick. And I'll just click save. So now we've created the scan template. All we need to do to kick off the scan is click this launch button. All right, now we've got these green spinning arrows that says that the scan is running. This scan will take some time. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause this video and I will be back in the next video where we will look at the scan results.